Hey, how you guys doing? I uh, decided to do a patch notes review. I think I'm going to start doing these regularly. I really uh, kind of like the idea of it because, you know, I like to get analytical and, um, you know, it's a big part of my just uh, approach to smite in general, even about skins. Now, let's look at the skins, all right? Because this is really a skin review when you think about it. Mama Fight is a Nami. Good skin. Looks good. I never feel like, I don't know, I always have a weird feel about when they do these, um, crossover skins for different uh pantheons i feel like it's weird and a little sometimes can be a little disrespectful but i don't know i guess if it comes out well and they don't like make a caricature out of the out of the other pantheon that they're doing then sure sure this one came out really well it looks like the mummy which chuck said sucked i really hope he's referring to the new mummy and not the original mummies um and well, I hope he means the new, new mummy, because there's three different generations of mummies. There's the original, which I've never seen, which is like a, an actual scary movie. Um, and then there's the parody movie of it, which is one of the greatest movies of all time. It, all right, it's one of the greatest guilty pleasure movies of all time, I should say. Uh, and it's amazing. And there's a ride in, on Universal Studios of it, and it's my favorite ride there. So watch the movie, ride the ride. But yeah, good skin. They got nice effects with the sand and everything. It's all good. The Yure Susano, which I thought was really funny that um, um, my man Ajax kept saying, or was it Ajax? Somebody, I think it was, uh, I think it was actually Hindu man was saying Yuri, um, but yeah, Yure Susano because Yuri, yeah. Um, look it up, but yeah, no, nah, maybe don't. I don't know. Up to you. You can. I, I'm not judging you. But, yeah, Yurei Susano looks really good, too. Uh, very cool skin. I'm not too into, like, super spooky stuff. So, neither of these skins are, like, big hits for me. I'm not, yeah, into, like, the yeah, creepy stuff. This looks great, though. The War Chief Raijin. Fantastic skin. Really, really well done. The Yurei Susano really is good. Very well done as well. Like, the, the effects are great on it. That whole, like, afterlife swirling shit. Awesome. This is the best skin of all time. And also, this is one of the best skins that I've seen them do in uh, in Smite in a long time, based on the effects of it. Because uh, you would look at it and just be like, wow, what a poor skin. Like, just fucking, are you serious? <laughs> but then you look at the in-game effects, the ultimate, the dash, the, the autos, all of it is so lovingly made and has really, you know, great... Um, thematic resonance all throughout it it's beautiful the thanatos skin it's a predictable skin it's not like reaching outside the box or anything but it's a really good skin it's a very solid one i think i'm gonna play it i think it looks a little bit better even in game than on here to be honest but i don't know that might be one of the only times i ever say that actually this one too i don't think they nailed the card art on him on the cupid except for the kids the kids are hilarious and amazing all right so uh, this is a dual relevant patch notes review. So, you know, I'm only going to be talking about dual. Fuck everything else. You know what I'm saying? Item bug fix doesn't matter. Morgan changeling, I didn't even see that one. Hopefully this means Morgan won't break the game more often. That's what this should say. Morgan will no longer break the game as often as she did before. This ur urchin thing, absolutely irrelevant. Dual, I'm glad they changed it though. Except for the fact that I fucking love urchin and I use it in every other game mode when I play casually. Uh, which is, you know, like twice a day at the end of my streams. So, yeah, fuck this change, even though it's really good for the SPL. Crusher, really glad they gave it a nice little 5% extra attack speed buff because it, it needed it. Um, it wasn't really, uh, like I always said, it was, a, it was a luxury item at the end. Um, usually luxury items mean, like, it's something really good that you can get with if you have a lot of money at the end of the game. But what I really meant was, like, it's a six-slot item that, like, if you can't figure out what fits here, you can go crush here. And like that's not a good place for an item to be in. So try to make it a little bit more relevant and you get a little bit more attack speed on it. Hopefully that helps it out a little bit. Because it is, you know, it's stats and everything. It's a good item. So maybe it'll be a little bit less overlooked and now a little bit more relevant. Soul Reaver. I don't know if this will be good for duel. Generally, Soul Reaver is not the go-to in duel. Um, and I don't really know exactly why we don't go it so much because i used to go it and then i realized the trend of people not going it so much and then i was like i stopped using it and i was thankful for it it's just like it's i find the whole idea so reaver awkward like the procs on it because you never get the procs when you need them the most it's you, you never get the you know really significant soul reaver proc because you're not all inning in duel and i think that's the thing is that when you get soul reaver later on in the game generally you're not looking at to poke 
anymore. You're looking for actual team fight commitments in other game modes. But in Duel, you're looking for a lot of poke all throughout, all across different engagements. So that's why I think Soul Reaver um, is awkward in Duel, you know, regardless of it being late game. Because you can never truly one-shot somebody um, in a late game setting in Duel if they've built correctly. So with that being said, maybe with this, uh, you know, price reduction, it'll be still just a solid option because of how, uh, how much power it gives and everything. This I hate. This I hate so much because Al Kuang is like the bane of my existence. I can't play him for shit and I can't fight him at all. I just do not like the god. I hate stealth gods. I hate everything about him. And this is a huge buff for duel. While it's a nerf for conquest and in probably every other game mode, or I don't know if it truly is a nerf for it. I feel like they say it is, but I feel like it's going to be one of those things where it actually ends up not at all being a nerf. But we'll see. I mean, I guess it is really big because they all relied on poly so much. But in duel, you, you didn't even get poly that much. You really didn't. And he has the ability to box you in duel because he's building a good amount of defense. And, you know, he's up in your face. It's just the two of you. He can't get dove by, uh, you know, by the rest of the team after he's used his kit. So, yeah, it's a big buff. And he's going to, you're going to see a lot more play from him, I would say. Um, Obelix, they nerfed her, basically. I don't know. Adapting immediately called out this, too, and said that this seemed like a nerf. I don't really understand why. From a dual perspective, for me, she needs to really snowball from the early game. Having Moonlight Charge do more damage by a little bit, I, maybe, maybe it'll um, end up doing uh, some more for her as it goes on. We'll see. But, because I mean, generally what I would say is that she doesn't translate into a great late game in general. Um, she has to go auto attack either way because her, her abilities stop hitting as hard uh, just like all of the you know burst assassins in duel like Thor and Humbots and etc so yeah I don't I don't know how great it is but we'll see because yeah it's just, the thing is with those gods Thor Humbots and her you really want to start off great you want to have a huge start and having the feather step be you know one of the most imposing abilities in the game one that will absolutely destroy you if you uh get uh out of position against her in the first uh, i guess within the first like eight levels of the game or something really until you get any defense online um you know that made her such a threat and that w was like one of the only things that really made her special in duel mm -hmm. so i don't know but scary you just kicked my ass with her because i forgot that she's knock up immune and she seems like, you know, with auto attack and the fact that if you utilize her ult correctly, you know, she could be a lot more relevant than people make her boob. This is good. I'm so glad. Fuck this god. They nerfed, basically, they nerfed the shield, increases the shield health per level, though. So the initial shield's going to be a lot lower and the shield per level will go up. Um, so his scaling will eventually reach, uh, reach the same amount as he, uh, as he was at that, at that 40 but he'll, um, or at, at about, but yeah, he won't start out with that ridiculous amount of health that he just, uh, starts out with. <laughs> All right. First patch notes review. You got to give me some time, right? It's like the caster first episode. They sucked. They were fucking terrible. Now Ron's the boy, right? What am I saying? Vote Ron, vote Ron. All right. So Barb's, you can't even vote. I don't know, <laughs> but still vote Ron. Barb Spear uh, reduced uh, a little bit of the um, passive on the uh, non-god targets, um, and then they increased the passive gain um, on gods. I don't know how this will affect duel. You're generally poking a lot in duel, kind of like a solo lane environment anyway, so I don't know. They said that he wouldn't be getting it as much, but I feel like this is good because it's 6 to 8. I don't know. I'm going to avoid the shit out of that Barb Spear. Salmon's Leap, which I is the f funniest name i've ever heard i had no idea that was the name of the ability until now had the same change so i feel like if they're just aggressing into you like they're always doing with this god in duel he's still gonna get his um monster form a lot earlier and the same thing goes for this so i don't know maybe <laughs> maybe Maybe he'll actually be better, but now nah, this early base shield thing is a big deal, and hopefully it does help against him. Erlang Shen, this is the big one. This is what I'm happy about. Fuck this shit. I know, I said Salmon to really, like, emphasize it. I don't say that. I say Salmon. I'm going to get called out. 
already did in chat. Um, Erlang Shen um, is basically mink damage reduced. Oof, get rid of that mink damage, you little bastard. You know how early he kills you? He just instantly kills you. And they would decrease the attack speed uh, and haste buff from 5 seconds to 4 seconds on it. So you get a little bit more breathing room against this guy, which is very, very necessary. I don't know if this is going to be that game-changing for him. It, it's it's a slight nerf, but it's also, it's you know, it's a slight but impactful nerf. So it's going it, to, hopefully it'll be relevant enough to make him a little bit less overwhelming. Because as, as of right now, I think he's easily the best warrior. Maybe this will allow Bologna to have a little bit more of a shot um, at, at taking that spot. Or at even, at just, at, at least being even with him on it. And maybe it'll even lower him, in my opinion, from S plus to uh, uh, the top of S. But, like I said, we'll have to see how it plays out. Hachiman, I think this guy... Alright, so Hachiman and Izanami. Hachiman, they just buffed him in many, many ways. So he's going to be very good. He was already going to be a very good dual god. Um, he wasn't going to be one of the best ADCs, based on what I could see. Yo, thank you so much, Musk. Ah, you breath son of a bitch. Out. You're doing great. Oh, I love how she just called you out so fucking hard. Breath in and breath out, son. You didn't even spell it right, but he's right. <sighs> He's right. It's hard, man. It's hard for YouTube vids. I don't know why. I've been familiar with you guys for so long, but I still get nervous. I think it's only when I uh, go out of the box to try to do something new, you know, like this, like something official. And yeah, I'm going to have to do more videos uh, with Valiant too. So this is good, good uh, practice. This is not just a practice video. You should watch and enjoy it all the same. Don't worry about that, right? But yeah, so I think it's going to be a big problem because we've got this guy, Hachiban who is now going to be a very strong hunter overall. Probably he might be able to round out at the bottom of S+. Plus. He might just fucking kill it and be a lot stronger than we even um, realized. Uh, but Or, if, you know, he might bottom out at, like, the top of S, I feel like, is the lowest he'll go. But I, I really feel like he's going to be um, bottom of S at least. And then we have Izanami now, who has the fadeaway. This reduction is actually crazy. When they showed it, they were like, oh, so a nice little love. And I'm like, uh, that seems like a lot, buddy. That's almost uh, half the cast time. And then you see it in game, and she's flying around the fucking map. She goes so quickly into that dash. It's very hard to even react to it now. So, yeah, I think that's going to be a big deal. Same with Dark Portal. The startup is a lot faster. I'm not quite as dra uh, dramatic as the fadeaway. But um, the cooldown of it, or the reduce, uh, or sorry, yeah, the post-fire time is also reduced. So it's, yeah, it's going to be pretty relevant, which means we've got two nasty hunters back in the mix. And I think that we ha already had, like, a little bit of breathing room from hunters. We're finally like, yes, we could do this. Breath in and breath out, you know? We could do it. We we might be able to get some more gods in there. But now you're going to have Izanami up there. She's definitely going to move up a little bit with this, at least, I'd say. Um, especially if people are able to utilize her more, because a lot of people don't play her that well that try to in duel. And you're going to have this guy fucking running rampant. Though I love him, and I'm going to be playing him quite a little bit, because he's cool. Other than that, so yeah, we might have a hunter problem on our hands, as is always the case with duel, though. So, what are you going to do? Uh, it's good, though, because her, her dash sucked. We've been calling for that change for the longest time. Her ult sucked. We've been calling for the change for the longest time. So it's exactly what we wanted. I can't complain about the change itself, only the impact that it might have on duel. Now, this guy, I don't know what the fuck they're doing with him anymore. I don't even know who he is, what's happening. They made it so that you can now select the, the teleport for the, the thunder crash and walk at the same time so you could you could choose it and you walk to the right so it's going to be like bonkers dude you're not even going to be able to tell exactly where he's teleporting to unless you're very uh, perceptive and you you know recognize that i'm not sure if it shows like the the indicator of where he's landing the whole time i can't remember exactly how that works but yeah it's it's a really interesting change sounds cool looked really weird in practice when i was watching him do it pom pom would choose his destination walk slightly over to the left and then come out i don't know but anyway, um, it's good. It's a buff, obviously, and a good one. I, I just kind of wish they would give him the invincibility back at the beginning of it. Because I thought that was so cool as a big part of his kit. Let's go Valiant! That's another part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> son of a bitch. Vigilant, man. Vigilant. You son of a bitch. He's playing on the fact that I accidentally said Valiant on stream. 
yesterday, and we were not supposed to talk about that anymore because we were done with it. But yeah, so um, increased protection, uh, increased protection, increased projectile speed by twenty percent of the ride. You also look sick. It's just like, and it's like going there and back. So it's just like snaps. And that's really good. Makes him a lot more fluid of a character. Uh, this too now has a bigger radius, so you're actually able to hit it uh, much easier. You can see the uh, uh, see the way that it works. The in-game targeters and the Tycho drums. Um, they did something with. But yeah, sorry if this time is a little awkward. I'm glad we had you know <laughs> some laughs along with it. I promise I will get even uh, better at making this more of just a seamless experience and less of a let's see if End Shadow can overcome his crippling anxiety today right so let me know if you liked it though you know uh either putting that aside or with it you know uh, you can either view it either way however you want let me know what you thought thanks so much for watching um and like i said i'd love to do more of this in general to just give a little bit of a dual perspective they should be relatively short because it's just a dual analysis of it other than the skins because i'm gonna rate the skins either way i love rating things whether it be movies shows skins are no exception and yeah so just let me know uh if you like the idea in general and uh if it you know should be shorter or anything though maybe i'll try to fly by a little bit quicker and yeah all right thanks so much for watching